Hey writers, how are you? It's Mr. Marshall at Stony Lane again. Um, I'm coming to you today because I heard that you are starting a new kind of writing that's going to be really exciting, right? It's called essay writing, okay? And um, essays are very a very cool kind of writing because in essays you can you do a lot of stuff like you you explore your feelings about something or you try to get new ideas about something. Um, I have a friend that wrote an entire book just about essays and how to write them. Um, and one of the things that, that she taught me in her book was that essays were a very old kind of writing. They were invented by this man. Take a look at this. That's Michel de Mont Montaigne. I'm probably saying that wrong. He lived in France in the 1500s, okay? Um, and he invented this kind of writing called essays. In fact, the word essay comes from a French word, an old French word. Um, here's the word, the way we write essay. Here's how he wrote essay. And that word means to try, to try something out, kind of like to try out your ideas or try out your feelings, okay? And that's, that's exactly what an essay does. An essay is the kind of writing where you try out your feelings and you share them. And sometimes your feelings or your ideas change by the time you're done. And sometimes they don't. But you know what else is really cool about essays? Essays are a very powerful kind of writing. Like if you can write essays well, you might be able to make other people feel the same way you do because you make them think of stuff that they never would have thought of before. Okay? And so we're going to get started. But sometimes when you write an essay, you might have the same kind of problem that you had when you wrote a story or when you were trying to write it something informational. Sometimes it's hard to think of a topic. It's hard to know um, kind of what you want to write about, right? So um, what I want to teach you right now is how you can take some of the strategies that you used earlier when you were thinking of ideas for your stories and when you were thinking of ideas for your information writing and use some of those strategies just a little bit differently to come up with an idea for an essay, right? Let me show you what I mean. This is a list of strategies that, that you may have used when you were trying to get an idea for a narrative or for story, right? So you looked at your heart map, right? Remember that? You made a map of your heart and all the things that are inside your heart, the things that um, matter to you, and you told a story about them. You chose one, and you told a story of one thing that happened one time with that topic, right? Some of you thought of like um, a special person and you told a story about that special person. Or you could think of a special place and tell a story about your special place, right? Or a special object and you tell a story about your special object. We also learned that you can think of an important feeling and tell a time when you felt that way. All these are about stories that happen one time with you. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use the same strategies, but instead of telling a story of something that happened one time, you're going to write down your ideas and your thoughts and your feelings about your topic. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to go to our narrative uh, list of strategies, and we're going to pick one. I'm going to pick the special person. So if I were writing a narrative, I could think of a special person and tell a story about that special person. Like, I remember using this strategy and thinking of um, a funny story with my brother, right? And I could tell that story about my brother. But when I'm writing essay, I don't want to just tell a story. I want to tell what I think about my brother. I want to say my ideas about my brother. Something that might be really different than what other people would say. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick the strategy. I'm going to think of a special person. And I'm going to tell you ideas that I have about that special person, thoughts that I have about that special person. Okay? So let's see. My brother, my brother and I are twins, but we are really, really different. We're really, really different because he and I look different. His hair is darker than mine. Um, what else? We we have different tastes like he likes one kind of music and i like another kind of music yeah i could write about that he and i dress really differently like his his taste in clothes is very different and um 
what else we um we have different interests right he's really into computers and i'm i'm like not you know i'm that's not my thing and so i could do a lot of writing about how my brother and i are really really different okay and i could write long about that in my notebook okay so that's how i'm using that strategy i'm not telling a story i'm just telling you my thoughts about about that topic i could do the same thing or like um, choosing an important feeling, I could be, you know, where before I would pick a, a feeling like angry and I would write about a time that I was angry, but today I'm going to write about things that make me angry. Things that make me angry are like when people, um, when people are, are like not fair or I get really angry when, when, um, when I, I know people in my life that don't listen to me and they're just not good listeners, right? And then I try to tell them about something important and they just don't listen. And I could tell you stories about, you know, that, and I could tell you thoughts about that. And um, so I'm choosing a topic and instead of telling a story of one thing that happened one time, like I'm not starting my writing with one day, I'm saying um, kind of how I feel about something and I'm learning ways to make my writing longer about that. Okay, so why don't you do that? Why don't you think about all the strategies you learned when it was time for you to write a story and change them? At the end, don't say, like, I'm going to tell you a story about one thing that happened one time. Say, I'm going to tell you my ideas about that topic. Okay, try that out, and I'll see you next time.